Good morning, y'all. It's Brian today at Hollis Farm. <coughs> Back down this morning, got Jake and Preston behind me. I think we got all the gear we need to go blow this beaver down. Got a big one over here in this little old oxbow slough. We hunted a good bit last year, and uh, I'm gonna have to try to blow it. I, I hope I got enough tanner. I got 15 pounds. That should make at least make a lot of noise. But went back over and checked the other little beaver slough that we uh, that I dug the dam out with tobacco y'all saw that uh, I didn't dig it quite as deep as I needed to it couldn't quite reach that far down off that bank but it ended up having to drain down to about it drained about a foot or more but it dug it drained down to the bottom of where I had trenched oh uh, pretty good but I wanted to expose more of those mud flats so I got down in there with the uh, with a shovel and trenched out two or three small places uh, the beavers had actually been in there trying to build it back but I got down there with a shovel dug out two or three spots probably another six inches it's about eight inches probably I'm thinking that uh that eight more inches is gonna be all we need We'll check that again before we leave and see where it's at. Uh, that should expose enough of that mud to plant. So anyway, we're over here to the big project. Y'all hang on, we'll be right back. We'll try to figure out this, uh, get this tannerite mixed up and dig us a hole out in the back of this dam. To try to get it in there and blow as much of it as we can. And it may take a second time, but we're going to get a good start today. All right, Joe, we made it in here. Pretty thick and green, a little snaky in here. We we'll have to be pretty careful. But, uh, this is the dam we're gonna try to blow right here. I think we could probably, there's a beaver run right there, gonna be the thinnest place to put it. That's where we're gonna try to put it. Dig in there, put the tannerite right there, and then get back off over here somewhere and shoot it. I think we can probably get in there about mm, three to four foot deep in that channel right there and blow it. So, it'll give us a second. We're going to get set up. All right, y'all. Jake's going to get the stuff packed up. Ain't it? You know, light knife. Jake's going to get the uh, channel right mixed up. The way this stuff goes, you mix uh, one can of this with one of the, whatever it's called, activator or whatever. Put it in this one and shake it up. Then we're gonna make us a funnel and put it in these two liter box bottles. We got 16 pounds. I, we're not gonna use it all in two two jugs. So we'll see how much we got. Love it. All right, y'all, we got about eight, uh, about seven and a half to eight pounds mixed up, two two liter bottles. Oh, Get them taped together. We're gonna go down there and dig us a hole in this. Oh, it's magma. In this uh, dam so we can just tuck this back in there and back, maybe blow it out. All right, y'all, we're gonna try to loosen up the spot on top here. We already had kind of a narrow place beaver's been running right over the top we can dig us back a hole right here we can tuck this tannerite deep as we can we have to get back off in the timber back in there and get hid behind that old big oak right there before we shoot it we'll have to put it this far in we'll dig all that out and put it right here because we we'll to, we'll need to get All right, y'all, we got us a channel, dude. We're going to tuck it right up there against that bank. And uh, hopefully that thing's going to blow out, we hope, the opposite way. 
We don't want a real wide channel. We just want a narrow channel. We can put a pipe. All right, y'all. We stepped off, trying to see how far we can get away and get a clear shot. Jake and them over. They're gonna kind of pack a little bit over top of that town right. You can see it there in front of Presley. Get back off here about 80 yards or so, and uh, set up and give it a shot, and hopefully it goes boom. And we see water rushing. I'm gonna get the drone up, fly over here too. In a minute. All right, y'all, we all set. I'm gonna send the drone up. Jake and them are ready. I'm gonna send the drone up, see if I can get out over the duck hole. We'll get lucky, get some good video of this. Beaver dam blowing, y'all, hang on. I might get interested. All right, y'all, here's the aftermath. Oh, that's that's what we, exactly what we wanted it to do. Now we can put the pipe. We put, we put the pipe right in the middle. We'll set some sackcrete in there, put the pipe in the middle, and then it, uh, we might push it back over against the pipe and let the beavers fix it back up. Flowing now. I tell y'all, see, this is where we walked in last year, duck hunting. All this was flooded out to the water line. You can see that farmer had already got in here and scratched on the beaver dam, drained it a little bit just up to where he could plant. But what we just busted, all this and way back into this timber will be dry by the end of day today. And the plan is to plant millet on all these mud flats out, all out here. Well, we're gonna, this is going to be pretty sweet.